Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is our Iron Man Challenge playthrough. And you guys are leaving a whole bunch of communication stations around here. Holy cow, look at all those. So in the Iron Man Challenge, I know I keep saying this, but just in case you're new, in the Iron Man Challenge, we're going to max out our inventory. So get all of our inventory slots open on one planet, on the starter planet, without leaving it. So I have a ship, I can fly around, but I can't leave and go into space and shoot asteroids and do all that stuff. That would be too easy. So, and we are heading towards, right now, we are heading towards our awesome crashed ship right over here, our distress beacon. And so on the way, hopefully we'll run into a couple of a, uh, oh, there's a trading outpost right over there. But we'll run into some drop pods because the drop pods, once you fix them, they will give you an exosuit slot. And that's our whole goal. That's the only way to do it without going to the space station. And so we're just looking for a cool drop pod. Maybe this is it over here. We'll see. But yeah, I don't want to go too, too fast because if you go too fast, you won't see it because they're really small, especially at night. They're really dark. And so you can just, up oh, there you go right here. Drop pod. Look at that. This is going to be our second one. We got one already and we, we started with our cargo. I think I'm going to keep doing our cargo because it's the hardest one to upgrade anyway. And so we might as well knock out the hardest one first. So I have my antimatter right here. Nope, wait. I have my ionized cobalt and I have my sodium. So there we go. We should have everything we need. So I, I try to keep it all on me. So you need 45 sodium nitrate, 40 oxygen. We got that. We need 55 ionized cobalt. We did collect a whole bunch earlier. And we need one antimatter. And antimatter is the hard one. That's the one that's going to be impossible to get. Let's upgrade. We're going to do our cargo. So now, well, while I'm inside, that way I don't take any damage. Let's move some more stuff over to our uh, cargo since we're here. I mean, we might as well put our antimatter in there because we need that. So we, we need our sodium nitrate. We need oxygen, antimatter. The only other one we need is going to be one a space for our cobalt. Now, I have my, my carbon in there because I have a ton of it. And in, in a permadeath mode, your stacks can only go to 250. Like in normal mode, you can go up to 9,999. In permadeath and survival, you can only go to 250. See? You can only go to 250 at a time. So it takes up less room if I put it all in the cargo area. And I mean, even then, I still have another one out here. I could probably use that one to get rid of it. Anyway, look at that. We have our second one. And so we need a whole bunch of them, though. Hey, buddy, get out of here. I'm trying to get to my ship. What are you doing? We are going to need a whole bunch of space. Oh, man, we're almost out. So let's refuel our launch thruster. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's just a knowledge stone. It's okay. We don't need that one. I'm just looking, I'm just scanning the ground for anything that might look like a drop pod, just in case. Because I've noticed too that scanning, doing that cool scan from the app, from the above the ground when you're in your starship, it doesn't always reveal every single uh, structure. Like it's supposed to mark all of the buildings, but sometimes it doesn't. Oh, we have a, we have a meteor shower coming, you see that? Yeah, look at look at all of them fall. It is so cool. I, you know, that is one of the cooler things that they've added. It's very rare. I, I almost never get to see one. But yeah, look at that. We got asteroids falling. I love it. I'm getting distracted though. So if I missed any drop pods, let me know down in the comments. <laughs> I bet you there was a drop pod back there. And I'm looking up at the sky, looking for uh, you know asteroids or meteors. Now, it's an asteroid when it's in space, but it's a meteor once it goes through the surface, right? I'm pretty sure I have that right. It's a meteor once it breaks the surface of the uh, planet. So once it gets close to the planet's surface, that's when it's a meteor. But it's an asteroid when it's in space just floating around. Well, there is a building up here in front of us. Let's see what this baby is. We are slowly but surely going to max out our suit. Now, the other thing is, I wish I was able to get a... Oh, uh, that doesn't look like anything. Nope, that is a market. You see? Yeah. It does have a uh, broken module, but I don't want to spend the launch fuel to land there and then get back up. 
But yeah, I wish. Yeah, see, like it didn't mark that. No, now it did. Too late now. I already looked at it. You scanner, it's not working right. But yeah, I don't know how many drop pods. Oh, there's a ruin or a monument. I don't know how many uh, drop pods are on a planet. And so we might not be able to max out our. Whoa! This is a planetary computer. I will. I will. Uh, drop on this one. I mean, it's a base computer. I'm so excited, I can't even speak. This is a base computer in the wild! Where is it? Where was it? Did I land on it? Oh, I could have sworn it was a- Oh, there it is. I just couldn't see it. There it is! Base computer! I don't- In all of these series, I'm starting to find a whole bunch more- Did that change with an update? I swear, like a year ago, it was almost impossible to find a random base computer out in the middle of nowhere. It was really hard. I've found, what, three or four of them at this point within the last two series. It's like, what the... Maybe I just don't spend enough time on planets. Maybe that's what it is. Because I've been spending more time on a single planet than ever before. Now, the other thing is, I can't really do anything with it. I can't upload it because I have to build a base here. But, I, can't, I don't have any pieces to build because I haven't gotten off the planet yet. I'm still in my tutorial phase. I'm on my starter planet, so I haven't learned any base parts yet. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I claimed it. <laughs> There's my base computer right there. So now I kind of have a marker of where I've been. <laughs> oh, there is a building over here. How much fuel did that take for my launch? My launch uh, fuel. It took... Wow, 75%. That's actually really good, because with our fighter, we were doing 50%, so we could only launch twice before we had to refill. 25? That means we can launch four times. We can launch twice as much before we have to refill. I love that. Again, this is a, uh, a market, so not anything really. Again, we, and because I haven't gotten out of the tutorial phase, I can't really access the markets, which kind of sucks. I wish they would change that. Because if you're running around on a planet at random and you really need help, even if you're in the tutorial, like you're in the beginning part of the game. Oh! Resources! Get all those resources, guys. Because that stuff... Oh yeah, and I remember you guys telling me that I could refine some of this, uh, these materials and actually get more. You know, for the actual... What? How do I have no... How do I have... Oh man, okay, I'm definitely full. Okay, let me... I move some of this over. Oh man, look at that! It's taking away too much, way too much. Geode. Man, I got a lot of ferrite dust. I need to start making some stuff with that. But yeah, if I break some of the stuff down, I will actually, like if I break down the dirty bronze, I will make more than 125,000 units. Because it's actually worth it. The materials it's made out of are worth more than the actual dirty bronze is worth. And so that's why you need to refine it. And I don't think I can refine it. I'm gonna try though. Because I think I did last time, I, I'm pretty sure I've tried to refine it. And it just wouldn't let me refine it because I have a small, like a nothing refiner. I have a really basic refiner. Nothing? I think I got it all. I'm getting so much ferrite dust, it's ridiculous. Yeah, okay, I think I got all the materials out of there. So that is a resource depot. That's And it's guarded by sentinels, and so you have to be very careful if you're on foot. But because I'm in a starship, it's easy. It's so easy. Just to just fly by and attack it. And then these Sentinels don't know what to do. They can't come after me because I'm way too fast. Okay, yeah. Carbon. Let's get that out of there. I mean, we have to... When, when I land the next time, I'm going to have to try to refine some of this dirty bronze. I don't know why I'm doing that. I can't see anything while I'm in my, my menu. I could have just flown by a whole bunch of uh, drop pods. I mean, maybe, but I, I doubt it because it's really hard to find drop pods number one. But you know what? I wouldn't put it past the game to spawn up some drop pods while I had my pause menu open. <laughs> that would suck so bad. All right. I don't see anything out here. Oh, there's something over there. And we are slowly working our way towards, there you go, the distress beacon, which is about a half an hour away. So it's gonna take us a little while to get over there, and especially because I'm making these little detours. This looks like just some habitable buildings. Yeah, there's nothing really there, per se. It's just buildings that you can go inside. Like if there's a storm going on, 
you can go hide out in one of those uh, buildings for a while. Especially when you don't have a terrain manipulator early on. Those buildings are lifesavers, like for real. This dress beak is 23 minutes away, so we're getting actually pretty close. Because I think in the last episode we were like 30 or 40 minutes away. So we're getting there. Just slowly. Yeah, anyway, I, I don't think there's enough drop pods. There might be, but I don't think that there's enough. And if, worst case scenario, if we've run out, like if I keep running into drop pods that I've already visited like multiple times, we will just find a new planet in this system. Like I will travel to a new planet and then stick to that one only. And so we will just go into space one time to go to a different planet. But we won't be, you know, collecting anything in space or anything like that. We won't go to the space station. We're not allowed to do any of that stuff. Only going to another planet to get a drop pod, to, to find more drop pods if we run out of them on this one. And that's only if we run out. I've never actually tried to get all the drop pods on a single planet before. Look at there's another drop pod right here. But yeah, I've never tried to get all of them. So I don't even know how many are allowed to spawn on a single planet. It has to be a lot because I mean, I've run into probably five or 10 on a single planet. But, and that wasn't even trying. I was just walking around exploring a planet and I ran into about that many. So, you know, I ran into a handful. And so I can imagine that it's actually gonna be a good amount. Might not be all of them, but it'll be so close it won't matter. All right, let's go into, uh, I mean, should we do tech? No, 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 we'll do cargo. Cargo, cause cargo is, if you didn't know, if you go to the space station, you can buy them, you know, they're. They're easy peasy. You just land on the space station and you can buy an upgrade. You only get one per system. So I'd have to travel to a whole bunch of different systems to upgrade my suit fully. But you get one and you just have to buy it. It's so easy. It's really quick. But the most expensive one to buy is your cargo because it is so big and important. You know, <laughs> there's a joke there, but I'm gonna leave that one alone. It's so big and it holds so much items, so many items that it's the most expensive in order to upgrade. So there we have our ionized cobalt. So now we're good to go on that. We have a whole bunch of this stuff. So carbon, we're gonna do this. Can I like having it kind of organized a little bit? So we have a lot of, we have, we're starting to get some pretty good room here. I mean, eventually we're gonna have to stop and go into a, uh, like a cave or something like that. Cause we're gonna need more cobalt. And I mean, we only have how many, how many more? We only have, oh God. Wait, wait, let me back up for a second. I want to see what this is. I, I didn't think there was going to be two next to each other, but you never know. Oh God. Oh, geez, no, go back. Okay. Yeah, you never know. I, it's very unlikely that there'd be two drop pots next to each other. Oh, there's nav data right here. Man, this planet has a lot of nav data on it. But yeah, you'd never know though. It could be a random spawn, two uh, drop pots right next to each other. I've seen it happen, but you know, I've seen pictures of it. I've never had it happen to me. I'm not that lucky, but I've seen pictures of it. So it's possible. I just think it's very unlikely. Oh yeah, we can get some more while we're, while we're waiting. Can I actually do this? Nope. Yeah, look, it didn't even, it didn't even mark this one. What the, how did that not mark this building? But it marks the one way behind it. What in the world is going on here? I think this is an abandoned building. It is not. What is this? This is an actual building. Well, let me land. There's a landing area. Anytime you see those green like circles, that means it's a landing area. So basically that the whole point of that is you don't have to use launch fuel to like, get out of there. So it's a it's like basically a free landing for you. So I love those areas. Not every building has it. But I mean, what is this building? Where's the door number two? Of course, so it's always the like opposite of what where I start looking. Oh, this is a uh... Oh, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. This is a manufacturing facility so we could actually let me see I didn't even realize because the shape of this building is weird Let's see this one and we have I Think we can open the door with this. Okay So we have to be really fast because as soon as we start attacking this door all of the sentinels are going to come after us. So they're going to go look and see what's going on first, and then they're going to notice that I'm the one doing it. Oh, yeah, or they're going to notice it real fast. That's okay. 
Get in here. Whoa! That was quick! Oh my god! No! Oh! Oh my god, I didn't know it was gonna be that fast. Oh my god. Well, that's the end of the series. Oh, are you kidding me? I can't believe that. And if you go into it, my save is done. <laughs> it deletes your save if you die. Oh my God. Crap. Well, that was fun. Uh, well, I don't even know what to say about that, you guys. I just, I can't believe it. I got taken out. Not instantly, but man, that was quick. Crap. Didn't complete the Iron Man challenge. That was fast. I, I've done that, what, two or three times before, and it didn't do that. Man, I got wrecked on that one. Holy cow. Two or three times before that, nothing. I got... Uh, I did, uh. Well, <laughs> should we start the series again? Or should we move on to another challenge? Let me know down in the comments below, and... <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.